And now, a game of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble and every move could be your last. High Rollers! And now, here's the man with all the action, your host of High Rollers, Brandon Scrub! Thank you so much, and hello once again, folks. Welcome back to another edition of High Rollers right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could be here with us once again. Well, the dice are definitely been heating up all season long, and we have a champion right now who's definitely heating up here as he tries to work his way toward a Tournament of Champions berth if he can make it through today's episode. So with that said, let's meet him now. He's our current champion with winnings totaling $68,126. Please welcome back Mr. Bobby Bailey. Hey, everyone. Glad to have you back with us, Bobby. Um, it picked up some big wins last time. Unfortunately, un unable to conquer the big numbers, which we've had a lot of that this season. But have you thought about what you're going to do with some of your winnings? Yes, I have some investments that... I'd like to repurchase with the cash that I've won. Uh huh. And that's about all that I've thought of to this point. <laughs> Makes sense there. Well, hopefully those investments turn you into more winnings and money for you. So welcome back to our show. Good luck to you as our champion. Let's meet your challenger today. Uh, challenger comes to us by way of Cincinnati, Ohio, and he's a man who's not been on the program yet and has been Sort of AFK from MVG Productions for a hot minute, but we're glad to have him back. Please welcome back Mr. Kevin Henry. Who? What? Me? Yeah, you. How did I wind up here? Um, you took a right at Albuquerque instead of the left. Oh, oh I did that again. All right. Yes, you did it again. Brandon! I know. It feels like it's been forever since you had you on a program. Welcome back, sir. It's good to be back. I made a promise that I would be back, and promise delivered. Yep, he is back, and we're going to be definitely working on some more material for you guys here uh, very soon. Mm -hmm. But for the folks who may have forgotten about you, would you remind the folks at home about yourself? Indeed. By the time this airs, I will have moved out of Cincinnati and in with my girlfriend, Katie, in Austintown, Ohio, which is right outside of Youngstown on the uh, northeast part of the state near Lake Erie. Uh, it's about uh, 60 miles northwest of Pittsburgh and about an hour or so east of Cleveland. Uh, I am still a truck driver. I am still a uh, content creator, which I have not done in some time, but I'm going to get back into that. Working on putting a new YouTube channel together. So for you folks who are still fans of mine, be on the lookout for that. Planning on doing some limited series with the help of Brandon and others, of course. And in my spare time, I uh, enjoy sports, Reds, Buckeyes, Packers. And now here recently, uh, dealing with the fact that Katie is a Browns fan, and at least we both hate Pittsburgh, so there's that. <laughs> Mutuality of people you don't like in sports brings people together. I love it. That's right, but we can agree on Ohio State, so that's a good thing. Yeah, and uh, looking like a good season for them coming up. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Great recruiting class. Yep. So we'll see how that works. But anyway, welcome back. Good luck to you. I say we get right to it. Let's play some high rollers. Why not? There you go. As of course you know, in high rollers, it takes two games uh, to win the match, and winner again goes on to the big numbers for a chance at one hundred thousand dollars. So a lot to play for, but before we get started, we have to put some prizes on the board because that's what you guys are going to be playing for. So let's see what we have. Starting off first in column number one, we have a 22-inch outdoor LCD TV, a Toyota Tacoma, was over $19,000 there, a set of flatware, a crypto Mazatlan, and a living room group with a TV and a year of Netflix, making column one a fully loaded column worth $32,358. Column two, we find a Ford Fiesta SE, so a second car on the board. A trip to Cosmel, and those two prizes combined for a total of twenty-two thousand four hundred thirty-eight dollars. And finally, column three, we have a bedroom group with e-reader. We have an exercise bike, a thirty-two-inch outdoor TV, a barbecue, 
and a trip to France worth over $23,000. Yeah. Column 3 is worth $37,522, a nearly fully loaded board worth $92,318. So yes, a lot to play for in this first matchup here. But in order to play, we need the numbers as well. So Seamus, if you please. And looks like uh, column one is our hot column today. Well, a 12 will get you the second most expensive column up there worth over $32,000 in prizes, which includes a new car. So good game between both of us unstacked. So Bobby and Kevin, best of luck to you. Hands on your buzzers. And we'll get started with the first question here with this. Robert the Bruce, Rob Roy, or William Wallace? Kevin. William Wallace. The question being, which historical feature does Mel Gibson portray in the movie Braveheart? William Wallace is correct. <laughs> Off the guess there, gets it right on the first one, and the dice are yours. Now that I've got that out of my system. And the roll is a double. There we go. Doubles get you an insurance marker, and you got a two. Well, I think I'll take the nine. Oh, wait. That's not how this works. No. I don't you remember that I don't do well at math. <laughs> this is How true. About the deuce. Yeah, that that makes more sense to me. You take okay. two off the board. That leaves the nine and the five in column number three. Mary Shelley, Bram Stoker, or Charles Dickens. Which writer is best remembered for the classic vampire story Dracula? That's Bobby. Stoker. Bram Stoker is correct. All right, Bobby, dice are yours, and technically, all rolls are good. Roll is an eight. Seven and one. All right, seven and one both come off the board. It says goodbye to the hot column for now, but a roll of 11 will clear column one, and a roll of 10 will clear column number two. Emma Thompson, Kate Winslet, or Gwyneth Paltrow? Which actress portrayed the title character, Emma, in the 1996 movie based on the novel by Jane Austen? That's Bobby. Emma Watson? Um, no, not one of the choices. Sorry there, Bobby. Correct answer there actually was Gwyneth Paltrow. It was Gwyneth Paltrow. So, uh, Kevin, you've got the dice, and again, technically all rolls are good. Well, then I guess I'll do something like this. And the roll is an 11. All right. Uh, the only way I think it can come off. Yeah, 3-8. There's a couple options there, but you take the 3 and the 8, and that makes sense because that gives you column number 1. <laughs> Again, all those prizes go over to your side of the board, and you can claim them should you win the round. All right. Here we go with our next question. Cheese, clog, or tulip? Made in the Netherlands, what are Edom and Gouda types of? Kevin. <laughs> I would lose my Wisconsin uh, loyalty uh, if I got this wrong. Cheese. Cheese is correct. <laughs> All right, Kevin, got some bad rolls now. The bad rolls are three, seven, and eight. Would you like to roll or pass? I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. I see yours. You do have an insurance marker. Yes, I do. And the roll is a five. Uh, hard five. Five comes off the board. Leaving now a roll of nine for column number three. Silk, nylon, or cotton? Which of these is obtained from a plant? Kevin again. Cotton. Cotton is correct. All right, Kevin, good rolls. Four, six, nine, and ten now. Would you like to roll it or pass? I'll pass this time. Gonna pass this time. All right, Bobby. Need four, six, nine, or ten to stay in the game. Otherwise, Kevin wins game one. And the roll is. Oh, was it eleven? I'm sorry. And Kevin wins game number one. You always use a new car. That is right, and you just won it. Congratulations to you. Thirty-two thousand three hundred fifty-eight dollars in prizes already yours. But, Bobby, don't worry, because that's only the first game of our match. Remember, it takes two games to win. So we're going to clear that board, 
and we're going to put some more prizes up on that board uh, to put, start off our second game of this match. Starting with the new prize in column one, we have a leather sofa there worth $2,817. Column two, we still have the Ford Fiesta, the Triple Cozumel, the 55-inch LCD TV, and those three prizes now are worth $26,238. And column three, already fully loaded there, the bedroom group, the exercise bike, the outdoor TV, the barbecue, and the trip to France, again, $37,522. And all the board value for this game, $66,577. All right, let's line up our numbers for game two. And we have a hot column. Column one again. Another roll of 12 gets you that brand new leather sofa worth over $2,800. All right. Bobby looking to play catch up. Kevin trying to become the new champion. Here we go for our first question of this game. The Avon lady, the milkman, or the postman? Who always rings twice in the... <laughs> Kevin? Oh, the postman. Who always rings twice in the title of the 1946 hit film, The Postman Always Rings Twice. <laughs> You're right. There we go. And the first roll of this match is yours. Well, let's do something like this. And the roll is an 11. So close All to right. the hot column. All right. Got it. Uh, one, two, three, five. The one, the two, the three, and the five all come off the board. And there are four numbers there, leaving now a roll of six for column one and a roll of nine for column two. Here's your next question. Crocodile, polo player, or knight? What motif appears on a Ralph Lauren designer clothing? Bobby. Crocodile. Say that again. Crocodile. No, I'm sorry. It's actually the polo player. Polo player appears on Ralph Lauren. I think you're thinking of Aristotle for the crocodile, if I'm, or aristocrat for the crocodile, I believe. It's one of the two. All right, um, Kevin, the dice are yours. The bad rolls for you are three and five. I'll take a chance. Gonna roll it. All right. He rolls and oh no, it's a five. Gets the bad roll and Bobby ties it up. Oh, okay. That's a small chance at the risky take with the dice there, but Kevin and Mark on the bad and roll, but Bobby ties up the match. He's got himself $1,000 now, house minimum for the win. So it's all going to come down to this final game, see who goes on to the big numbers. So let's add some more prizes to the board and see what we're playing with now. Starting first, column one. To go with that leather sofa, we're going to add in a trip to Juneau, Alaska with over $4,500. Making that prize column now worth 7,333. I think we found Jason Myers' favorite column at the moment. In column two, we have all the prizes loaded in there, which includes a hot tub for this time around, making this one $32,432 there. And of course, column three still fully loaded with all five prizes there. Again, over $37,000 there. And our board value for our tiebreaker match, $77,287. All right. Time for the numbers. Seamus, if you please. And we do have a hot column again. Column three. A roll of 11 will get you the most expensive column up there. And also a reminder, players, the hot column bonus of $5,000 is still up for grabs. So... And again, you get the hot column bonus that is yours to keep no matter what happens the rest of the game. So, this determines who goes on to play the big numbers. Good luck to you both. We start with this. The Liberator, the Great, or the Terrible. How is Tsar Peter the First of Russia more commonly known? Bobby. Peter the Great. Yeah, Peter the Great is correct. And first roll of this tiebreaker match is yours. Roll is a five. The five. Five by itself comes off the board. We now roll a roll of ten to clear column number two. Timbuktu, Barcelona, or Paris? In which of these cities could you spend pe 
uh, pistas. P E S E T A S. And that's Bobby. Barcelona? Yeah, Barcelona is the correct one. You got it. And I apologize to any of my Spanish speaking people except for those at Discovery Spain. I royally messed that one up. All right, Bobby, <laughs> dice are yours. Thanks for that. And the roll is an 11. One, two, and eight. One, two, and eight all come off the board. You got yourself a hot column. That's a bonus $5,000 to you. And, of course, you get to keep the prizes should you win the round. All right. Here we go with our next question. Pottery, basket weaving, or rug making? And which craft would you make use of a kiln? Bobby. Say that again. Pottery. Pottery is correct. You've got it, sir. All right. Bad rolls are five and eight. Would you like to roll or pass? I'll roll the dice. Gonna roll. Okay. There they are. And the roll is a six. The six. All right. Six by itself comes off the board. I'll leave you now at four and nine in column number one. Vulcan, vagrant, or vegan? Kevin. I'm going to take a stab here and say Vulcan. What is the term for a person who eats no animal products? It's actually a vegan. 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 Sorry about that, Kevin. Took a chance on it. Didn't work out. Bobby, again, dice are yours if you want them. Bad rolls here are five, six, and eight now. I'll pass. Going to pass it. All right, Kevin, on you. <clears throat> it's the right move, in my opinion. And the roll is a three. Three. Three by itself comes off. We will now roll a seven to clear column number two. Neighbors, the elderly, or your relatives. If you practice nepotism, which people do you favor, Bobby? Your relatives. Which people do you favor? Your relatives is correct. <laughs> All right, again, Bobby. Options yours. Good rolls left now are four, seven, nine, and eleven. I'll pass the dice to Kevin. All right, Kevin. You gotta give me one of those rolls to stay in the game. Otherwise, Bobby remains a champion. How common the seven really is. And you get seven. I rest my case. Take it off. He's got it. Seven comes off, and you've got column number two. <laughs> All right. Both players with some big load of prizes there. Who's going to claim them? We shall see as we continue on with our game. The four and the nine are all that remain. Samba, Limbo, or Roomba? Kevin. Got to try it, Limbo. Which of these is a West Indian dance which dancers lean back and pass under a bar? Limbo is correct. Pass it. What a guess there. He's going to pass it over to you, Bobby. Again, a four or a nine will keep you in the game. Otherwise, Kevin becomes the new champion. I lose, or in any case, well played, Kevin. Here we go. And the dice roll is. Oh, an eight. So close. And Kevin's our new champion. I finally find a way to appreciate limbo. <laughs> <laughs> Well, congratulations there. You definitely are doing that, and you are moving on to the big numbers here. Well done, sir. Thank you. Great game, Bobby. Yes. Thanks, Kevin. Well played by both of you there. Uh, Bobby, you cannot be mad about your performance here, sir. You did quite well for yourself. You picked up $1,000 in the game, plus you got a hot column bonus there, so another 5000 on top of that. So that means you're, you end your run here on High Rollers with us here with a grand total of $74,126 cash and prizes. Congratulations to you. Thanks, Brandon, and good luck to Kevin in the big numbers. Yeah, he is definitely going to need it. But, Kevin, congratulations to you, and a well played by both of you there. Kevin's going to already be a definitely up on the money rankings there. One game total, $64,790. <laughs> what a way to make a comeback, sir, is all I can say at this point. Well, you've got one win under your belt, and we're going to see if you can't add another $100,000 to it. 
when we tackle the big numbers, and we'll do that on the other side of the break, right here on High Rollers. Stay tuned. Welcome back to High Rollers here. Kevin is our new champion now. Over $64,000 in cash and prizes. And now he's going to get a shot to see if he can't turn himself, win himself a hundred grand. Kevin, all you got to do is take all nine numbers off our big numbers board here. If you do that, the money's yours. It's that simple. For every number that you do take off, I will give you a thousand dollars. But you get all nine, and you win a hundred thousand bucks, just like that. All right. Remember, also doubles will give you insurance markers, and those will probably be very critical in you winning our game here. So. Best of luck to you. Here are the golden dice, and I wish you the best of luck. Let's go win that money. Thank you. Let's roll. First roll up is a double with a 12. Let's do uh, one, two, and nine. A one, two, and the nine come off, and there you got $3,000. Great start to you. Roll again. Advice to anyone who watches or plays this game, always get rid of that one as quickly as you can. That's my advice. Take it or leave. Now, next roll is an eight. Eight. Eight by itself, up to $4,000. Rolling quickly here with a seven. Seven. And starting that countdown, got $5,000 so far. Roll again. Next roll is a ten. Uh, the only way I can think of, six, four. All right, six and four both come off the board. You've got $7,000. A three or five will keep you going. An eight, however, gets you 100 grand. Come on. Come on. Double four. And a three. Okay, that's fine. That's a three good Three is good. Three. You got it. There it goes. Comes off. All right. Two shots to roll me a five for $100,000. Come on. The five killed me earlier. How about redemption? Five. Ah, seven. That is a bad roll. I'll have to take that insurance marker for you. And you got one more shot at it. Oh, come on, Seamus. I tried to hold, I tried to cover up the two, and Seamus pulled my hand away. No, you got to count both dice, sir. No cheating. Fine. And he gets. Ah, oh, oh, right, right there. Dang. That's, that's okay. That's a good little run, though. Yeah, they cannot be mad at that at all. $8,000 for your efforts here on the big numbers. And when we add that to your previous winnings of $64,790, gives you a one game total now of $72,790, bucks, sir. And more importantly, too, you're also going to face off against another opponent, and we'll meet that opponent. Right on the other side of this commercial break. Right after this, stay with us. Welcome back to High Rollers here with our new champion, Kevin Henry here. Again, over $72,000 so far in his first game out here as champion. And he's ready to meet his first opponent. So let's meet him. Uh, coming to us by way of Texas, Arcana, Arkansas. Please welcome back, Mr. Chris Chambers. Thanks, Ben, for having me back tonight. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for those of you at home who are wondering why Chris is back so soon as he is, we had a technical glitch on our last episode that uh, may have cost him the victory, so we wanted to give him a fair chance. So Chris is back with us once again to try his luck here against the dice. But, Chris, for those who missed out on the last episode, remind them a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Ketchikan, Arkansas. I'm a full-time cashier, and if I have any spare time, I'd like to go bowling. Fantastic. Well, glad to have you back here. Let's give you, hopefully, things go much smoother for you this time. Maybe you'll become champion, so good luck to you. Let's play some high rollers, and let's put some prizes on the board to start our game. Starting first in column one, we go with the leather sofa and the trip to Juneau, Alaska. We have a brand new spin! James would be so excited right now. Yeah. This spa is worth almost $10,000, making column one now worth $17,211. Column two, we have a trip to Hawaii over there worth $42,683. That's probably minimum of a two-week vacation in Hawaii. Ooh, that is expensive right there. That is a nice Ooh. prize. 
It's one of the biggest prizes I think we have. And finally, column three, of course, still fully loaded with all of those prizes, including that trip to France there. 37,522 is the value there. And our board value Ooh. in our first game, $97,416. My goodness. And I said we were giving away the house tonight. I didn't believe him, but I see why now. But all right. Let's see what happens as we line up the numbers for this first catch. And looks like we do have a cot column. Column number three. Once again, a roll of 12. Get you that trip to France and those other great prizes there. All right. Battle between Kevin and Chris. Wish you both best of luck. We start off this first match of the second game. Start, sorry, start off this match of the first game. Something like that. <laughs> Words English can't today. Here's your first question. Bensonhurst, isosceles, or Bermuda? Which famous triangle are aircraft... And that's Chris. The Bermuda Triangle... Are aircrafts and ships said to have mysteriously disappeared? The Bermuda Triangle is correct. Good anticipation, sir. And the dice are yours. Let's roll them. And he gets a double. Starting off with a 10. And the eight and, the eight and two, please. <clears throat> eight and two. All right. Both come off the board. All right. Leaves a roll of 11 for column one and a roll of 12 for column number two. Craps, poker, or roulette? Which casino game uses a spinning wheel? Kevin. That would be roulette. Roulette is the correct answer there. You got it. All right. All the dice are yours. If I answered craps, you would have unfriended me. No, <laughs> I would just re be sitting down and giving you a lesson about casino games after, <laughs> after the show. But. <laughs> All right, let's do some rolling here. And the roll is a double. A 10 for you. Okay. Uh, six, three, and one. Six, three, and one all come off the board. And that leaves now a roll of five for column one, nine for column two, and 11 for column three. Chris, I believe you just said anything you can do, I can do as well. Anyway. <laughs> here we go. The next question. Gomer Pyle. Gilbert Gottfried or Hugh Hefner? Who founded the magazine Playboy in Kevin? Hugh Hefner. In 1953, Hugh Hefner is correct. Can you imagine if Gilbert Gottfried had founded Playboy? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there would be no subscribers and there would have been no centerfolds. Are you sure? Unless they were pictures of himself. I don't know. That, that, oh. It could be. I... That's a personal choice. Anyway, anyway um, uh, bad rolls for you, Kevin. Three, six, eight, and ten. You want to roll or pass? Here you go, Chris. All right. Thank you. Over to you. Let's give me, give me something good. And you got a seven. And seven by itself. That's the only way it comes off the board. And now one number each will clear all three columns. The Comets, the Crickets, or the Ivies? What is the name of the legendary Buddy Holly backup band? Kevin. The Crickets. The Crickets is correct. Buddy Holly, the big bopper, rest in peace and pass. I understand there. And Chris, you've got the dice once again. Okay. Yeah, it's a double, but unfortunately it's a bad roll as well, so I can't give you... I'll give you the insurance marker, and then I'm immediately going to take it right back. Rolls again. A three is a bad roll, so I have to take your insurance marker now. You must roll me a four, five, or nine to stay alive. Otherwise, Kevin wins game one. I'm going to give me that nine. And, oh, no, it's an eight, and Kevin picks oh. up game one. All right, Kevin's in the lead. Didn't pick up any prizes that time, but picks up the house minimum of $1,000. And Chris, we're going to see if we can't play catch up here as we immediately jump into game number two with these prizes. Starting in column one, go with the leather sofa, the trip to Juno, and the spa. We're adding in laundry service, movie tickets, and groceries and haircuts for a year worth almost $6,000 there. Okay. Column one is now worth $23,192. In column two, to go with that very expensive trip to Hawaii, we're adding in a brand new snowmobile. 
What is two things that do not go together in a prize package oh, there? But column two is now worth fifty thousand seven hundred eighty-two dollars. Oh. First time we've cracked fifty grand in the column this season. And finally, column three still fully loaded, all for five great prizes there. Again, thirty-seven thousand five twenty-two there, and a board value now of one hundred and eleven thousand four hundred ninety-six dollars. Oh, yeah, we are back at six figures once again. Last time I think we were there was like the start of the season. So lots to win, lots to play for. But in order to get in it, we need the numbers. And we do have a hot column. Column number two for the most expensive column up there. All you need is a roll of an eight plus the $5,000 hot column bonus. So very tempting. We'll see if our players take it for now. Uh, Chris trying to play catch up. Kevin trying to get back to the big numbers. Here's your first question Ladybird, Bluebird, or Ellie? By what name was the wife of President <laughs> Kevin? Ladybird Johnson. The wife of President Lyndon B. Johnson, known? Her name was Ladybird. You were right. There was. All right, and the dice are yours. Good luck. <laughs> Roll is a six. All right, let's go 4-2. All right, 4 and 2 come off the board. Hot columns are the play. But now another roll of 6 will clear the center column. Barrymore, Fonda, or Russell? Which surname connects the movie star... Chris? Barrymore? Which surname connects the movie stars Henry, Peter, Jane, and Bridget? It's actually Fonda. Fonda is what we're looking for there. Sorry, Chris. Um, Kevin, dice are yours. Let's roll. And it's a double. You know, for an insurance marker, you got yourself a four. The only way I see it coming off is three and one. Yep, that is the only combination left up there. So three and one come off the board. Now a roll of five will clear column number two. Curate, bishop, or rabbi? Which of these religious figures is also a chess piece? Chris. Bishop. Bishop is correct. Mm. All right, Chris, choice is yours. Bad rolls for you. Three, four, and ten. I'm going to chant and play them. All right, dice are yours. Come on, give me a five. And it's a double for twelve. Oh. Seven and five. Yep, that is the only combination that'll take it off. And guess what? You just picked up column number two. <laughs> so potentially a big payday for Chris if he can win this round. Over $50,000 up for grab for him. And only numbers left now, players six, eight, and nine. Control very important. Here's your next question. Friends, Cheers, or Frasier? And which sitcom do the characters Ross, Chandler, <laughs> Kevin, Friends. And Phoebe regularly appear. They are friends. And no matter what they say, I'll be there for you. And I'll be there for you, Scruggsy, but I'm also going to be here to pass. I figured as much. All right, you both have an insurance marker. So, Chris, six, eight, or nine keeps you alive here. Uh, give, me a, give me something good. And it's an eight. Give me that eight. Eight please. comes off, and you just picked up column number three. Oh, look at that. Chris Ooh. might be maybe with an eighty over $88,000 payday if he can survive this round. And Mark Leota's favorite two numbers are still left on the board. I'm so <laughs> glad he's not here right now. Right. Anyway, next question. Bullfighting, motor racing, or cycling? Which activity is celebrated in the by Ernest Hemingway in the novel? <laughs> Kevin? Oh, bike racing. I'm sorry, not one of the choices. The correct answer there was actually bullfighting. The ah, complete the question that. there, which activity celebrated by Ernest Hemingway in the novel Death in the Afternoon? It was bullfighting there. All right, so, Chris, uh, over to you, sir. You have the option. You both have an insurance marker. Let's pass them. No shame there. Well, Kevin can't win it on this one, but a six or a nine will keep you in the game. All right, let's see if I can do that. And the roll is... It's a double, so that's okay. a four, so no harm, no foul there. You still keep your insurance marker. Just roll again. 
And a five. That is a bad roll, so I'll take that insurance marker from you. One chance here. Six or nine, otherwise Chris gets a payday. Ah, oh, it's a oh. seven, and Chris gets it. Well done, Chris, for you. $88,304 in prizes, sir. Uh, so, Chris, Chris, even if you lose this, you already have won, sir. I can tell you that. But looks like we're going to need a tiebreaker once again here. So let's clear the board and uh, load in the prizes for what we're playing for in our tiebreaker match. Starting first in column one, to go with the leather sofa, the trip to Juno, the spa, and the laundry service movie tickets, groceries, and haircuts. We're finally adding another 50-inch plasma TV, making column one fully loaded and now worth $26,492. And we have new prizes for columns two and three. First in column two, we find a pair of BlackBerry phones in a year of service for 2020. I'm mad we're still giving away Blackberries at this point. I think I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade yeah. those to the latest uh, Samsung phones for you. So we'll, we'll take care of that for the post production. And um, for column three, we have a 42 inch LCD TV plus computer there worth $1,627. Making our board value for this eyebreaker match $30,139. All right, tiebreaker match. Let's see who gets it as we load the numbers. And we have a hot column. Column two, a roll of 12, will get you the phones and one year of service on us. All right, Kevin. Chris, good luck to you both as we start the tiebreaker match with this. Manhattan, Queens, or Harlem? Sorry, which of these is not one of the... F Kevin? Not one of the five boroughs, Harlem. Yeah, Harlem's, Harlem's a subdivision of one of them, but you are correct. And that was the exact question, too, by the way, so well done there. And for that, I will give you the dice. Do I have to pull the Ben Stein... Uh... Disclaimer. Um, if you feel the need to. Okay, I do not know any of these questions. I have no advanced knowledge. I shall do my best. And the roll is a three. One, two. One and two. Small numbers come off the board, leaving a roll of 11 now to clear either column one or two. Turkey, India, or Scotland? The United Kingdom consists of England, Wales, Northern Ireland, and what other country? Kevin. Scotland. Scotland is correct. Not again. All right, dice are yours. And the roll of a five. Uh, only way I can do it, five. Five comes, five comes off the board. And that gets you, col uh, that leaves now a roll of six for column number one. Dennis, Damien, or Damon? What is the name of the little boy in the movie? Kevin? The Omen, and that's Damien. It is the Omen, and Damien is the right answer. Wow. Great anticipation there, sir. Once again, a uh, bad roll for you is a five. You know, normally I'm not superstitious, Scruggsy, but the five killed me in that last game, so I'm going to pass. Going to pass it. All right. Chris, over to you. Okay, give me a six. And it's a double. That's good. Roll of an eight. Uh, uh, I guess the eight by itself. Yep, that's the only way that one comes off in this one. Moving out, roll of 12. We'll clear column number three. Wendy's, McDonald's, or Burger King? Kevin. I'll give it a shot. Burger King. Which fast food chain featured the Where's the Beef advertising campaign? That's Wendy's. 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 He took a chance, didn't pay off for him, Chris. Uh, control is yours if you want it. Bad rolls for you are five and eight. Um, let's keep them. Going to keep them, all right. And the roll is a seven. A uh, couple options here. Two ways to do this. Uh... Let's go to four and three, please. Four and three both come off the board. All right. One number left in each column, players. And here is the next question. Family Feud, Price is Right, or To Tell the Truth? 
Which game show features the catchphrase, come on down? Kevin. I'm not turning in my game show card today, folks. It's the price is right. You're right. Cool. I was about to say, if you're going to have to, I'm going to need you to leave your keys at the door after the show. <laughs> Same. All not right. in this lifetime, unless I go completely and utterly insane, which maybe I've already gone there, but who knows? Eh, well, again, that's a different issue in that case. But oh. I do question if you want to roll it, sir. Uh, Chris does have an insurance marker. You do not. Good rolls left are six, seven, and nine. He does, but in Price is Right fashion, you got to play a form of dice game right about now, Chris. So, have some dice. All right. Here we go. Passing them over, Chris. Six, seven, or nine keeps you alive. Give me a six. It's a four. I'll take that insurance oh. marker from you. All right. On. One chance at it. Six, seven, or nine keeps you in the game. Otherwise, Kevin remains his champion. <laughs> it's a double. It's a six. It's six. And he does. Column it's number one is yours. Chris taking all the big prizes off the board today. Oh. And the game continues on with a seven and a nine remaining. Here's your next question. Happy Days, Rhonda, or the Mary Tyler Moore Show? Which 70s sitcom featured future director Ron Howard? Kevin. Happy Days and pass. Happy Days is correct. You're not going to even let me tell you if you're right or wrong or not, are you? I know that one. All right. Well, fair enough. Passing it over, Chris. Again, seven or nine is what you need. Oh, give me seven or nine. And it's a double. That's a two. A double. Can't give you that one, so roll again. Roll is a six. That is a bad roll, so I'll take that insurance marker from you. And one more crack at it. And it is a seven. My goodness. Wow, whoa, seven. Wow, the luck Ooh. of the dice is on your side. And you picked up column number two. All right, it all comes down to this. Here this will be the last question of the round. Only the nine remains, so control very important. Scally, Scullion, or Scully? Kevin. Scully. What is the name of the FBI agent played by yes. Gillian Anderson in the X Files? Scully is correct. Partner Bean Mulder, pass that, baby! All right, Chris, one chance at it. Roll me a nine. You become the new champion. If not, Kevin retains. I don't get it. Good job, Kevin. You too. Respect, either way. And it is an 11, oh. and Kevin remains the champion. Wow. Oh. Brandon, I don't mean to hijack anything here, but one word for you, Chris. Respect. Thanks, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Well done for you. Congratulations, Kevin. You're going back for another shot of the big numbers here in just a minute. But Chris, I have to give you I have to give you some credit. We brought you back because of the uh, technical difficulties from last time, and you definitely capitalized on the effort here, sir. Did you have fun playing with us? Thanks, I did, Ben. Thanks for having me back, and good luck, Kevin. Well, you too, pal. Well, you're definitely not leaving out of here empty-handed. I think you might have the record now for highest non-winning uh, score here on High Roller, sir. You just picked up $88,304 in cash prizes, and when we add that to end to what you won last time, sir, you leave us now here on High Rollers with a grand total of $92,037. Not uh, too shabby. You almost got the hundred grand the hard way playing the main game alone. That which is very impressive. Yeah. But anyway, I hope you enjoy that trip to Hawaii and everything else you've won here today because we enjoyed having you. But for yeah. Kevin, now another two thousand to add it to what you've won gives you now seventy four thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars. And we're gonna see if Kevin can't capture the hundred grand of the big numbers right after this here on the high rollers. Welcome back to High Rollers here with Kevin, who picked up his second win here, over $74,000 in winnings now. 
and gets another crack at the hundred grand here, sir. You know how this works. I'm not going to even bother wasting my time explaining it to you. So I'm just going to say, good luck. Go get that money. All right, let's roll. Maybe. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. First roll is a six. Five one. Five and one come off the board. Get yourself two thousand dollars. And it's a double with a twelve. Nine three. Nine and three both come off the board there. So you are up to four thousand dollars. Bad rolls three and five. And rolls a seven. Uh, a seven. Seven by itself, and you are halfway home. All the odd numbers gone. Now the even numbers left. And a six. Oh, uh, goodness me. Six. Six by itself, all right. Comes off the board up to $6,000. All again, a seven, a bad roll there. So take your insurance marker from you and roll again. Roll is a double. With a four. Give that right back. I got $7,000. A two or eight left, but a ten gives you the money. Come on, double fives. It's a six. Bad roll there, so I'll take that from you. And one more chance at it. Two, eight, or ten. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, six oh, again. Ah, oh, tough break no there. No problem. Friend. All right, not bad, though, sir. Another $7,000 in a losing effort there. But when we add in your previous winnings of $74,790, gives you now a two-game total worth $81,790. And yeah, not too shabby at all. And that also means you'll be back with us next time as our defending champion, see if he continue his strive for five. Will he make it? We'll see next time, folks. But that means for now, we are all out of time for this episode of High Rollers. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like what you see and want to see more of it, check out the full season one or two playlist here on the channel. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. But in the meantime, between time, we're going to give the dice a chance to cool off for just a little bit. And we'll see you next time here on another edition of High Rollers. Till then... So long, everybody. <laughs>